Hey everybody, this is RC from Kelby Training, D-Town TV, and AboutRC.com, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the 500px plugin for Lightroom. Now, in the earlier video, we talked a little bit about how to install and how to be able to take a look at comments, but I did want to talk about a couple of other things that you could do with this plugin. Now, inside of your 500px account, you know that you can have a series of pictures for the account. However, you also have the option inside of your portfolio to be able to have collections. And these collections allow you to be able to group a series of images together in one specific category. So from here, I can go ahead and create, let's say a collection called people. You'll notice that my URL shows up as people and I can click on create new collection. So now I have a collection called people and inside of here, I can go ahead and click on that and then put some images inside of it. So right now I have an image that I can go ahead and select to be able to put in there. So let's say I click on that one. I don't want this image right here. I can go ahead and drop this photo here to be able to remove it. I want this one and I want this one and I want this one. So now I have a collection for people. And if you were to go to my portfolio, you can go ahead and go to this people portfolio and you'll notice that this people portfolio now has a series of images so once this is done if you were to go to about rc dot 500 px dot com you'll notice that i have a subdirectory now for people now how do you manage that from inside of lightroom well that's actually very easy inside of the 500 px plugin that you have set up here you have the option to be able to right click right in this area and inside of there, you can go ahead and create a collection. So let's say, for example, I want to be able to create a collection that's going to be HDR images. I'll go ahead and I'll click on the create collection and I'll just type in HDR images. You'll notice that it puts the URL for me right there. So now you'll notice that I have a collection called HDR images. So now I can go back over to my portfolio. And inside of my portfolio, let's say that I want to be able to put a new HDR image in there. I have a collection right now here of just all HDR files. Let's say that I want this file right here to be a file that I'm going to put in there. I'll go ahead and I'll go to my grid view. I'm going to go down to the publish collection here and I'll drag it right inside of the HDR images section. By doing that, you'll notice that if you click on that collection, you do have new photos to publish there. And I can just click on the publish button. That's going to use the settings that I set up in the previous video, and it's going to upload all of this information. I'll go ahead and I'll call this the Leica S1 test shoot. A picture of a hotel. And in the category, I'll go ahead and I'll just call this landscape. And I'll publish this. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to aboutrc.com forward slash. And you'll remember that it did HDR underscore images. And it placed it in there. Now, if I were to just go to my regular 500px account, go to your photos, you'll notice that it also placed it in there. And if you were to take a look at your collections, it did create the collection inside of here. Clicking inside of there, you'll notice that you do have the image. So there is a complete seamless connection with working with these collections here. Now, I have the pictures that I uploaded and I have the picture that I uploaded inside of a collection. It's also probably important for us to be able to talk about how to be able to delete this image. At any point in time, if you wanna delete one of the images, all you have to do is just grab the image and remove it from the collection or single click on it and delete it. Once you hit the delete button, it brings you to deleted photos to remove. And if you hit the publish button again, that image is now gone from this collection. Now, because you've deleted the picture from your collection doesn't necessarily mean that the picture isn't in your profile. If you want to delete it from your profile, single click on this and hit the delete button. Now you have a deleted photo to remove. We'll go ahead and we'll publish that. And now if we go back into your 500px account, you'll notice that now the image is not in your profile. Now let's take this one step further. What if I want to delete the collection itself? All we really need to do now is just right click on this and delete. 
Do you want to delete the published collection? Click on delete. And now if we go back to this, you'll notice that I can go back to my 500px account. If I go to my collections, only images and people appear there. Now, if you want to keep up with the latest of what's happening at 500px, make sure you go to 500px.blog. This is a great place for you to be able to get information. If you want to follow me, you can always just go to Google Plus at gplusrc.com. And as always, if you want to follow me at 500px, you could always just go to 500px.com forward slash about RC.